This is the Big Old Master, the world's first 134 volt electric unicycle with a top speed of 55 miles per hour. That's right, this is a wheel that is fast enough to get you a speeding ticket even on a highway. And this week, I'm gonna ride this insane machine and tell you all about it. Are you ready for the very first 55 miles per hour electric unicycle? Road intro! Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and help spread the EUC gospel. Sorry, ladies. First, shout out to my friend Ronan for letting me borrow this wheel for testing purposes. And considering my track record of killing wheels, he's a real man of faith. <laughs> In a world of ever larger trucks and cars, electric unicycles seems to be the only piece of transportation tech that follow the modern, smaller, and faster ethos. It's also the reason why it's especially appealing to city dweller like me that can't deal with the cost and hassle of owning a car. An electric unicycle offers significantly greater performances even in comparison to high-speed electric scooters or e-bikes. And the Bago Master I have here is just about the most extreme example of that formula. For first, a bit about the company that built this wheel. Galway Bigo has been floundering for the past few years. There have been a slew of unfortunate five incidents and a parade of new wheel introduction that got no love from the AUC community. Not to mention losing the performance crown to veteran Sherman, the viral AUC sensation of 2020. And out of that darkness comes the Bigo Master. And in many ways, this is a desperate last gamble from we go got way to stay relevant in the electric unicycle world and that gamble appears to have paid off since the world's very first 134 volt wheel finally appears to sing the tune that the EUC rider community has been waiting to hear all our speed and performance An electric unicycle with a motor output of 3500 watts and a top speed of 55 miles per hour full 10 miles per hour faster than the mighty veteran Sherman. First a quick short explanation of what this whole 134 volt hoopla actually means. Motor output, which is where you get speed and torque from, is measured in watts. It is a product of electrical current measuring amp multiplied by the voltage of the overall system. Increasing the voltage of your electrical system will lead directly to greater motor output which again translate to power torque and speed but higher voltage system would also require a much more robust component and that had always been a barrier of entry for many EUC companies however as the first to introduce a hundred volt electric unicycle Bigo had always had a leg up when it comes to engineering and design high voltage electric unicycles and that advantage is immediately noticed as soon as you step onto the master. The power output gap between this wheel and everything else, including the 126 volt Kingston S22 and the veteran Sherman, is significant and noticeable, even at the lower end, since it is running a high torque motor. And if all you care about is speed, power, and acceleration, then without a question, out of all that is currently available, the master is the obvious choice. With one important caveat, which is that it is no secret that Bigo Gotway is also working on 134 volt upgrade of all their wheel lineup, which means that we will very likely soon see 134 volt version of the RS, EXN, Nikola, or even a V4 Monster. So if all you truly care about is top speed, and you're looking for that next exciting upgrade from your veteran Sherman, imagine what a 134 volt EXN can do. By the way, that is no empty speculation. Prototype already exists of 134 volt RS, but like all tech gadgetry, the next 
best and greatest thing always seem to loom just beyond the horizon. So instead, let's talk about the here now. First, a public announcement. Please stop riding with the factory stock ads. They're designed by people who doesn't know how to ride an EUC and prevent you from learning the proper technique and accessing the full capability of the wheels. And this includes the one you get on the Kingston S22s. I'm sorry, but it really pains me to see another video made with wheels running the stock pad. I hadn't planned on this, but I just happened to ride by the original Papaya Kings and I'm also hungry so I'm gonna go get myself some hot dog and papaya drink. Go okay. ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go, go ahead first. You, your hands are full, oh, man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> just the right side. Thank you. The Commander is technically Gateway Pico's fourth generation suspension wheel. But even considering their ethos of fast iteration, still represent a radical departure from their past wheel design. Gone are the cheap plastic enclosure and sideway mounted controller. Instead, we have something that is closer to the modular design, like that of the Kingston S22. It comes in a confusing array of four different battery configurations. You should probably stick with a light tech pack with the better upgraded BMS, but be warned that high voltage and output directly translate to poor range. Like a super soaker that would pump a whole lot of juice but run drive equally fast, expect range in the neighborhood of like 20 miles, especially if you want to ride fast and hard, and when with the even higher output Molly up. Nothing else do fast and hard as well as the Big Old Mask, which should have come as no surprise since performance had always been what Gateway Big Old were known for. They always somehow enable to squeeze out just a little bit more power and performance from their wheel as compared to anyone else. And even though they had lost their monopoly on 100 volt electric unicycle, most of the other companies and veteran excluded since they're technically ex Gateway employees and so don't count. Neither King Song nor Emotion seems to be able to match the kind of performance from their 100 volt design as compared to Gateway, and that's actually part of the reason why King Song went directly to 126 volt for their S22. Because high speed riding is risky business. Too much safeguard and performance suffers, and too little. Well, this is what happened. And despite my annoyance at the lack of general imagination for EUC software, there's no denying the fact that when it comes to high performance EUC firmware, Gateway is still the king of the hill. Since this is a loner, I can't really push it the same way I do a demo wheel. Plus not a lot of time, so I haven't really fully acclimated just yet but I can give you my first impression of how this wheel feels. Part-wise, comparing to other 100 volt Gateway wheels, if you have been around low enough to ride a prior gen 84 volt Gateway wheel, it is the difference between that and 100 volt all over again. Greater headroom, higher torque in the entire power band, and higher top speed. At full battery, this wheel beeps at 54 miles per hour, and it's a high torque wheel was just absolutely insane. It is well balanced but rides very tall, a bit more so than even the S22 which is a bit of a problem especially at high speed when wind resistance become more of an issue and especially so when there is a strong crosswind. Initial impression is that the S22 does feel a bit more planted but it's hard to tell this early on if that's due to the better slider setup on the S22, its wider rim and tire are just me not quite fully acclimated just Yet. Speaking of which, the suspension does feel vastly improved as compared to the last Gateway suspension wheel I rode, the EX. It also feels significantly more robust and spongy compared to the other Gen 1 suspension wheel like the V11. There are none of the messy looseness nor flex of those wheels. S22 still feels better and more stable. However, I really haven't had the chance to properly dial in the suspension on the Master. So this is something that I still need to spend a little bit more time to figure out. And of course, I must mention that out of the four EUC manufacturer, 
Gawi Bigo has in the past been dead last when it comes to build qualities and although the master appear significantly improved in terms of fit and finishes I still wouldn't expect this to match similar price offering for other EUC companies. And just like the factory pads that I immediately removed, I get this nagging sense that this wheel isn't designed by someone who actually regularly rides in EUC. Things like ergonomic to convenient option range from a little bit off to outright annoying. We're in the Kingsong S22 really benefited from having Jack, a die-hard electric unicycle rider, involved. But I have to say, that Master is still a huge step forward for Gatway. Two years ago, when they changed their name to Bigo, I had resisted calling them that because it felt like a cheap way for them to get away from the bad publicity of fire and defects that was plaguing their product. The best thing I can say about the Bigo Master is that it is a wheel that feels like a fresh star from a company that is once again, I hope, committed to building great electric unicycle that pushes the boundary of what is possible. So what do you think? Is the Bego Master the electric unicycle redemption you have been waiting for from the artist formerly known as Godway? Or is it another death trap waiting to happen? Well, that is what the comment section below is for. I somehow managed to trick you into wasting another 15 minutes of your life, but I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to my supporter on Patreon. Please check out the link in the video description below if you enjoy and like to support my work. And as always, as much as we all love Electric Unicycle, the only way for us to get better wheel is to grow as a community. So tell your friend, teach them how to ride, and get them hooked. And until the next video, thank you.